Hi, my name is Andy Bowen. I'm a physical therapist from Green Mountain Rehab, and I'm with Kyle from the NNI Work with Ski Rack. And today we're going to show you how to do a hamstring self test. Um, and we want to show you this test because a lot of people who are sprinters, the number one injury for sprinters is hamstrings. And also, it's a common injury for bikers. So, Kyle, why don't you, uh, we'll start with you laying on the ground. You're good at that. Yeah, I'm just fighting for my strength. And all you're going to do is raise your, try to lock your leg out, raise your foot up towards my hand. That's very good. And if you can have somebody eyeball where his heel is, if it's above his knee, his knee's right here, then he's, he's got a good, uh, he has a good straight leg raise. If it was lower and he was tight in his hamstring below his knee, then he would be at high risk for injury. So if you, and if he can get it even higher above mid thigh to hip, then that's even better. <clears throat> that's not happening. So that, that's a, <laughs> That's an easy self-test that you can do at home. And then if you do find that you are tight, an easy stretch that you can do is if you scoot forward towards the post, Kyle, and then put your leg up on the post. And now you can just hang out here and text on your phone and try to hold a good stretch for 30 to 60 seconds. You can even use the post as resistance to activate your hamstring and scoot a little bit forward to the post. <clears throat> a push, push yep. against the post. Yep. Okay. So that's a that's a good self test for you to try at home, and it's this is also a great stretch for you to try to gain some hamstring length. We hope you like this test, and if you want some more helpful tips, check us out at GreenMountainRehab.com or at SkiRack.com.